Hello, my darlings. Happy Speed Build Day to you. Happy Friday. I hope you all have a lovely weekend this weekend. Now, I'm recording this again because I just did 15 minutes of voiceover and then looked to my right and I wasn't even recording. <laughs> so I've been sat here talking to myself for 15 minutes and um, I'm a little bit fuming about it, to be honest with you. But hello. How are we all? Welcome. Welcome to Loft Living, my loves. Loft Living is a an old fire station using lots of custom content, by the way. These arches are from Peacemaker. I love these. These were probably the th first things I ever used from Peacemaker. Um, and I used to love using these. So these made perfect sense to use on an old fire station. I got lots of inspiration from kind of fire stations in Boston. I was looking at a few there that had been converted into apartments. And I think another one had been converted into a bar. So I kind of got inspiration from Boston for this. So dark brick and lovely aesthetics. Now, don't pay attention to the windows that I'm using too much at the minute because I end up going to download Illogical Sims uh, Moschino window add-on, which are variations of those lovely Moschino windows that you can see now. They come in like thinner sizes and they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So thank you, Illogical Sims, for making those windows because they made this build perfect and I loved it. Really did. Um, but yeah, as I said, lots of custom content in this build. I did use a lot and I will link everything down below, but this build is not going to be on the gallery until next week, probably because I player tested the kitchen and I have no idea how and why the kitchen doesn't work. There is no reason for this kitchen. You'll see it when, once we get to the interior, there is no reason for this kitchen to not work. It should work perfectly, but it doesn't. And I need to get to the bottom of it before I post this up to the gallery because I need it to work. Yeah, I just need it to work for you guys. But yes, these wall details just make this build come to life. They really do. Like, I wish we could have more architectural exterior pieces that make a build have more depth. You know, like the Sims building just looks a little bit flat sometimes and you have to kind of go in with a lot of detail on top just to make the build look not just realistic, but interesting. These arches from Peacemaker just, they're they're brilliant. And you can use, you can even use them indo indoors as well. The lighting on them are brilliant. They stay perfect. So don't be afraid to do that as well, my loves. Now at the back here, I wanted a staircase going all the way up to the loft area itself. So I do that by kind of doing this little like cube moment at the back and then cladding it in that kind of black cladding. So it was almost like a, a modern add-on, which I love. Um, and I love black iron kind of cladding on houses. I think it looks gorgeous. So the only place that I furnished was the actual loft area of this old fire station itself. So the bottom two floors or the two floors below I actually just put black wallpaper up and black flooring and it stops you guys from getting distracted. Um, yeah, stops you guys from getting distracted of where you're supposed to be, if you know what I mean, because this is supposed to be at the top of this building and I didn't want to furnish the two down below. Maybe you guys could do that because in my head, each floor would hold a separate apartment maybe. And I kind of liked that vibe. So I play around with a lot of platforms and stuff in this build, especially, well, up into the bedroom areas where I put the platforms and bathroom as well. But we'll talk about that a bit more into the exterior. You probably saw in the beginning, I actually grabbed one of those shells. There you go. It was just off to the, well, it's off to the right now. Um, and I think it is a city living shell that you get in live edit. And it just helps blend this build into the landscape around it and stops this build from kind of sitting and looking a bit weird and empty. So I end up doing that, my loves. I really do. This area changes a little bit. You'll see that uh, a bit further on as we go into the build. But I loved it. Really, really did love it. Now, this is where I'd found or remembered that Illogical Sims had the Moschino window add-ons. And they're just a little bit smaller. They're smaller. They're coming a bit more different shapes. So it's easier to fit into smaller spaces and stuff. And I love them. Look at them. Look at them. They fit into those little archways gloriously. And I'm very much for it. Really am. Um, at the at 
in the beginning, I was going to use the smaller Moschino windows there, but I actually end up just using the normal big ones. And then I kind of alternate a few open and closed. And yeah, I loved it. Really, really did love it. Now, um, this actual place, so it is an apartment. It's a loft apartment. It's got a big kitchen area. It's got a living area with kind of a dining sort of island with bar stools and then up into the platform area it's got the bedroom with a little desk with a computer in the corner and then it's got a nice bathroom up there as well now in my head the person who lived here is a single male it just screams male to me on the inside for some reason I don't know why so I went with that and I changed quite a few things around on the interiors in the beginning I went with like a dark black kind of aesthetic but then I wanted to lighten everything up. So I almost made everything look kind of plywoody. And I ended up using a beautiful new custom content pack from um, Little Dika, which is he's an incredible CC creator. Um, he actually emailed me with uh, uh, the actual pack called Sleek Slumber. So I ended up using a lot of new pieces from that, which you'll see a bit further on. So thank you so much for sending me that. It was gorgeous and I loved it. Absolutely beautiful pieces of custom content. So I stick with uh, Logical Sims, Harry and Felixander and Little Dika for this um, build. So not too many CC creators. I like finding my favourite CC creators and sticking with them, you know, but I, I'm open to suggestions. I really am. I, I'm not a snob. I will, I will look around at anybody's custom content. I love a bit of CC. I do. And it, I think it, the, um, kind of like bad cloud that was always over custom content has kind of been lifted recently because I reckon mainly because a few kind of like bigger sort of like, um, simmers or creators have kind of cotton on to the fact that custom content is amazing. <laughs> um, took their time, <laughs> but they're certainly here now. I'm just glad I was always the an OG of custom content, my loves. I love it. Um, and blame Harry for it as well, because she actually fed the custom content down my throat <laughs> many years ago. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, yeah, no, I love it. So anyway, here we are, interiors. So don't pay attention to too much in here. Here, I end up putting a little skylight in. And I did that by putting a little ha tiny half wall down. It kind of eats away through the platform that I put at the top. And then it, you can just slip a couple of skylights in. And that's right over the bed, which, yeah, I love. This was annoying me, putting fences onto a platform because it was just getting rid of the platform. No matter what way I was trying to do it, it was it was very, very annoying. And I was like, well, we're just placing it on. And then it would get rid of the half wall that I had underneath. And then you would go and try and put the half wall back and the fence would disappear. That's what I mean. When I say like the platforms aren't working properly, I just, they shouldn't work like that. Like they, they should just work. They should just work for goodness. But, um, they don't, they really don't. And I'm a bit fuming, bit fuming. Now, as I was building this, I was watching, um, Night City. Oh, I forgot what it's called. It was the, it's, they're talking all about it's from the developers of uh, Cyberpunk 2077, which is a game that I have never been more hyped for. Mm, I'm not never been or more hyped for. I think I'm getting the same vibes as when Skyrim came out because I've always been a massive, huge Elder Scrolls fan. But CD Projekt Red are probably my favorite game developers. I absolutely love their games. I love how they are with the community as well. They're not kind of cash grabbing, if you get my drift. Um, and I was getting so hyped for it. Is there anybody else out there that's hyped for Cyberpunk? I'm that hyped that I even got the collector's edition on the way, so it should be getting delivered to my house. To my house but I don't care. I trust CD Projekt Red. I know this game is probably going to be a masterpiece. And not probably, it is going to be a masterpiece. So I cannot wait, my loves. Cannot wait. Let me know if you are excited down below. And let's geek out together. Now, this is what I'm doing at the back of the build. This is, it's supposed to be like a little park area. I wanted this lot to blend in with the world even more. And because it was quite a small space that we were building, I thought I'd use the rest of it to help blend it in with Sam Shuno. So what I end up doing here is putting some of the same trees that you're seeing around this place and also... I end up putting some benches and stuff down, making it look like a little park, really. And 
I thought it looked really cute. I thought it looked really cute and it kind of fit in with this world. It really did. I think it was lovely. <clears throat> I was struggling to find... Sorry, I had to cough then. I had to... Um, I was struggling to find a... A fountain for here. Like, there's no... We haven't really got any nice looking fountains in The Sims 4, I don't think. They're all a bit garish. They're all a bit cartoonish. This was the best out of a bad bunch, to be honest. Um... Yeah, they're fine for like a park, but I want some like, I would love to, to have had a modern-esque fountain at the back. I would love love that. I mean, I could have made one, but mama didn't have the time, sweetie. I was doing, I was building. I actually um only started a little bit of this the other day and um I did the rest of it today. So I've been building my butt off today and getting everything recorded and ready for this. So... I cannot wait. I can't as much. I love creating content. Do not get me wrong, but I cannot wait to chill out this weekend. It's been a massively hectic week for me with the sim stream and everything. Uh, so I am. I cannot wait to chill out. Anyway, into the interior. And I don't pay attention to the colours we are using, nor the kitchen. We are using the kitchen from Harry um, and Felix Alexander, but we're. We end up changing this and going for a lighter aesthetic in here. I was just like, ah, oh, black is just too predictable for an industrial looking build. I don't want to go black with this. So what I end up doing is using hints of black, but keeping everything primarily into like a light. In my head, the wood was like a plywood. I know plywood is massively popular in interior design at the minute, especially with kitchens. So I go down that route. The same thing with those screens that I've put up next to the stairs that you were probably just seeing there from the bathroom pack. Um, I end up changing them for a lighter timber as well. And here's me trying to figure out what am I doing wrong here? And I was just like, you haven't put a corner piece on the corner, Aiden, you knob. So <laughs> I sort that out. But look at this is the layout of the kitchen. Tell me why this wouldn't work. Why would a sim not be able to use stuff in this kitchen? There is more than enough space for the sim to be able to get through. This is me absolutely derping out. Don't like, why am I doing this? Why am I putting that corner piece like that on the corner there? And then I was like, you're a twat. There we go. <laughs> Put that corner piece on and it should work fine. But I don't understand. Look how much counter space it's got. I even moved, there was a bit of clutter on each of the counters. So I even took the clutter off of those counters and put it on like some and not on others. Still, he could not use the kitchen. No idea. Don't don't even get me started. Do not even... I even swapped the fridge out as well. The fridge... We go for a smaller fridge. There is more than enough room at that fridge for the Sim to be able to get something out of the fridge. Like, there's like a, a, a tile and a half space there. So I was absolutely fuming, loves. Absolutely fuming. So, yeah, you're seeing everything now a bit more lighter. So I've gone for this lighter aesthetic. I end up using this little cabinet that I make using um, Harry's Halcyon kitchen pack. And then I sort of like make it a little bit smaller underneath so it's not floating. And then I use the new TV, which came with the little Dika um, sleek slumber pack. And the same with this beautiful sofa. Look at this gorgeous sofa. Loved this sofa. Um, so I end up using that in here as well in a bit more of a lighter grey with the nice timbers, but I'm still bringing in like pops of black here and there. Just because the windows are black, I needed to still have that black vibe going through this house or this loft, shall I say. So um, it wouldn't look too weird having these like black frame windows and everything else around it. It's in a light kind of like plywood colour. It, 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 would, it would not have looked good. It would not have looked good. And I much I much prefer the kitchen looking a bit lighter as well. I just think it looks nice. And you'll probably see that a lot more um, in the kitchen, in, in the video tour. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't speak. I really can. And this is where I was like, oh, maybe we should do like an arch here. So I end up pulling these in, shuffling the sofa and stuff along. So I can, the sim can get through there and he can sit on the sofa and everything. I play tested all of that. Um... And then I was like, oh, what about getting an actual archway in here? That would look really good. So I end up using one of these arches indoors and then behind where the bed's going to go as well, which is where I'm putting it now. And it just looks so good. It looks so good. It looks, it gives the loft like a a separated feel as well. I still wanted this whole space to be open to each other so you can see the bedroom and blah, blah, blah. 
but then I still wanted it to be private. So by using the screens from the bathroom pack and those arches, it kind of separates the space off without closing it, if you know what I mean. And I like that. I like that sec like thinking, that kind of segregated kind of thinking, um, even in an open space. So that's what my kind of challenge was to do for this. Look at that chair. Look at that lamp. In Love, that is from the new Little Dika Sleek Slum Slumber Pack. Gorgeous graphics on these as well. Very um, Maxis Match. They're like Peacemakers um, pieces, but a lot more Maxis Match. Peacemakers just kind of verges on Alpha. I still love them. I still use them in my game. But I always find that, well, I found that Little Dika stuff is very similar to that kind of thing. But a lot more Max's match and I love them. I do. I'm a big fan. So I cannot wait to use more from this creator because I'm in awe. I'm in awe of it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for sending it to me again. I absolutely adore it. Really do. So this little area here, I end up doing as a little like reading area. Um, and then maybe like a little plant moment going on here. So I get this side table from um, Harry and Felixander can't remember I think that was the Jardin yeah the Jardin pack and I end up putting loads of plants here figuring out where I need to put them and stuff main reasons being I thought this big window would lend itself well to having plants there so that's what I did and I end up getting one of these big screens as well from the bathroom pack and put it there my loves and it just works to me it does and that's all that matters isn't it because I'm the one who built it <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, what am I waffling on about? But yeah, look at, I don't understand why this kitchen doesn't work. It frustrates me. It really frustrates me because there's just more than enough space for it to work. But I will get to the bottom of it. So if you do download this and it's a little bit different, then you know why. But I don't want it to be different. I like having this big kitchen. In my head, this, the sim that I had kind of like thought of moving into here was a kind of bachelor sim. Um bit of a ladies man but also he liked having his friends around a lot so and he enjoys cooking so I wanted them to have a bigger kitchen than I did him having the living room I just wanted the living room to be somewhere he could sit and watch a bit of tv whereas the kitchen was kind of the main sort of like entertaining space so four bar stools um and a big kitchen was what was in my head now ignore that plant that's on the corner that there I know it's poking into the um side I hadn't finished placing it so just before anyone was looking at that and getting a sweat, their sweat on. But I'm still pissed off. Still pissed off that this kitchen wasn't working. But yeah, fuming. Absolutely fuming. What Can you see what would be wrong with it? Because I can't at all. Like there's no reason for this kitchen not to work. But for some reason it did. And then I thought it was custom content not working, like the oven. So I, ended, I tried a different oven and a different fridge. Nope, that wasn't working either. Um, and ignore those pillows that I put down as well. I end up getting rid of one of them because the sim wouldn't sit on the sofa for some reason with pillows on. I was like, you're a bit fussy, love, a bit fussy. This is the new bed from Little Dika. I have never seen so many swatches. Look at the swatches. I've never seen so many swatches in an object in The Sims before. And it is incredible. This bed is gorgeous. I love it. So I end up using it in that kind of, again, Bit, bringing up that plywood colour upstairs and also hints of black here and there. So everything is usable up here too. So your sim can get up here, can move around, can get into bed. Um, and I love it. I love the fact that it's got a skylight above this as well. And I love the fact that I managed to squeeze in a little a little office using the chair from the uh, Sleek Slumber pack and also the lovely laptop from that pack as well. Great pack. Comes with so many items. I think it was like 50 items was in that pack. Um, incredible, beautiful stuff. Uh, I will keep saying that because it is stunning. So, and I was like, oh, can I fit some side tables in here? So I used the same Jardin ones. Um, and yeah, I can. So I ended up putting two of these gorgeous lamps from the Little Dika pack as well. Um, I'm just going to keep saying that, Little Dika. I hope I'm getting that name right. I hope you're getting your name right, my friend, because if not, I'm very embarrassed. <laughs> Very embarrassed indeed. Um, and light switches. It come, What was I saying the other day in my real house build or my house build? I want some light switches. This pack came with light switches. So I flopped a light switch everywhere, my loves, just because I could. Now, I wanted the bathroom to be very black, very sleek and very modern. So I used spa day tiles. 
a little, I wanted a bath in the beginning and it was just proving too difficult because of where the door was. So I just had to go for a shower, a basin and a toilet. And But I still like it. Using all of the stuff from the bathroom as well because, because it's the bathroom pack and it's iconic. And that's it. <sighs> anyway, my friends, I hope you have a lovely weekend. I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight playing Assassin's Creed if anybody wants to come along. Or the new one. Um, if anybody wants to come along and join me, 7 p.m. GMT. And if not, my darlings, I'll see you all on Monday for the next part in um, uh, Let's Build the Worlds. So have a lovely weekend. Bye. <laughs>